Hey everybody, we're Diamond True Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Soul Snack video. Police detained lady for feeding the homeless. This video was once again requested. Um, before I get into the video, I would like to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And if you guys are not yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned. And let's get into this. All right. Here you go. Hold on, honey. Let me put that there. And thank you so much, Mrs. Meredith. You're a lifesaver. Oh, you know, I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure. I don't know what I'd do without you. This is probably going to be my only meal for today. This lady doing something nice for a change in one of these. You gotta be kidding me. I believe this lady. How many times do we have to go over this? Of course. I told you three times. You're not allowed to be here. I've given you three citations. Okay, and I have told you each time that I'm well within my rights and I'm not going anywhere. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. This is wonderful, and I'm gonna file it away with all the others. All right, well, let's go. Pack it up. What's going on over there? This is your final warning. Wait a second, what's going on over here? Stay out of it, bomber. I'll arrest you too. You can't see nothing inside the soup. Here you go, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, it's my pleasure. He loved feeding the homeless. All right, hello, young man. That look like it's just broth from soup. No soup in it, really, but just broth. <laughs> you go. Spoon's right there. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There you go, now hold that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Nice and hot. There you go. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Too. Aww. You're welcome. Hello, Mal. Hey, Trey. It's good to see you again. Hold on to this. Let me get you some of the broth on top. Thank you. All right. Here you go. Hold on, honey. Let me put that there and hold on to that spoon and you're good to go. Thank you so much, Mrs. Meredith. You're a lifesaver. Oh, you know, I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure. I don't know what I'd do without you. She sounds like she's probably going to be my only meal for today. I can't talk. She sounds like she from the South. Sorry, Trey. Have you had any luck finding work? Um, yes. Thankfully, I found some work at a construction site nearby, but it's only temporary, though. All right. Well, congratulations. That's a step in the right direction. Thank you, Mrs. Meredith. Your support means the world to me. we got to do what we can yeah. with what we have with where we are. Right? Am I right? Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. Mm-hmm. you got to be kidding me. We're going somewhere, Officer Jacobs. Go. I cannot believe this lady. You do way more than most. You're like an angel. Uh, she can, you're gonna make, make me cry. Make All her right, cry. we gotta move this line along. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit later. Okay. Good to see you, Trey. Thank you, Ms. Meredith. She about to cry for real. Yes, the nerve. Unbelievable. What's wrong with just helping the homeless go find a real job to do, like catch criminals and murderers? Hello again, officer, and good morning. Wish I could say the same. How may I help you today? How many times do we have to go over this? I've told you three times. You're not allowed to be here. I've given you three citations. Okay, and I have told you each time that I'm well within my rights, and I'm not going anywhere. Do you have a permit to be here today? You gotta have a permit? I do not. For the last time, officer, I do not need a permit. I'm on public property. And I'm not selling anything here. Fine, have it your way. Writing her another no, citation. Officer, don't you have anything better to do with your time? Nope. 
he he he's scared to go catch the murderers and criminals because he's he's scared of the real action. So he pick on people that's making nice gestures in the community. You know there are bad people out there committing real crimes, but here you are again harassing me when all I'm trying to do is help people who are desperately in need. Right. You're running a food service event without proper documentation from the owner. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. This is wonderful, and I'm gonna fuck. I hate that police officers can be so focused on that, but it's real crime going on out there. Like, this is the least of your worries. I let away with all the others. All right, well, let's go. Pack it up. I'm not gonna go anywhere yet. I still have food to serve. Not my problem. You're done here for the day, lady. Let's go. Pack it up. Officer, you've had your moment, okay? I've received your citation. I've told you I'm gonna pay the stupid fine. Now just let me finish up, you? you? got two minutes to get everything packed up. You hear me? Two minutes. Dos minutos. I'm not leaving. This She's is not your final leaving. warning. She's not about to go okay. nowhere. I am within my rights, and I am not going anywhere. Hey, hey, wait a second. What's going on over here? Stay out of it, bomber. I'll arrest you too. Whoa, whoa, just chill out, man. This lady hasn't even done anything wrong. I said stay out. He didn't have to call him out his name, though. Yeah. Trey, it's going to be okay. I got this. It's going to be fine. Captain Porter. Good morning, Officer Jacobs. What is going on here? Captain, how you doing? I have everything under control. This lady is illegally running a food service event. She doesn't have a permit or permission from the property owner to be here. Mm, go on. Well, I've given her several warnings. I've issued her several citations, and yet she shows up every week feeding these people. I was just about to arrest her for disturbing the peace and failure to comply to a lawful order. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Did Officer Jacobs here describe the events accurately? Well, yes, he did, except he left out one really important part, which I have told him over and over again, is that I'm within my rights here. I'm on public property, and I do not have to have a permit. Ma'am, if I say you need a permit, you need a permit. Okay, that's not how the law works, okay, Officer? Captain. Yeah, she's right. Captain? Look, this is a public library, public space. She's right. Now you look stupid. He looks stupid now. She doesn't need a permit to operate. Well, there has to be something we can do. She's clearly a nuisance. She's here every week handing out food. You consider her charity a nuisance? Yeah, Captain, I do. There's enough homeless people in this town as it is. Now they're everywhere because of her. That's because he don't like homeless people. Like, he, he's letting his feelings get involved in his job, and it's like, don't treat her like crap because you don't care about homeless people. She do. That ain't got nothing to do with you. It's like feeding stray cats. For God's sake, man, listen to yourself. This cold-blooded reptilian. Right. You have no compassion. I mean, these are people. For once, she's speaking like she got some sense in one of these. I've never seen her be a good person in these. I don't think. Like, I've always seen her either be a racist or a Karen or whatever. People just like you and me. Not like me. And who is this young man, this, this gentleman? Hello, officer. My name is Trey Johnson, and I can assure you that this lady has done nothing wrong. Okay, Trey, how about you tell me what's going on here today? Well, I came by to grab a meal for Miss Meredith like I do every Sunday, and then as I was leaving, I saw this officer trying to arrest her. So I tried to come into her defense. This lady, she's a really nice lady. She's a really good person, one of the best that I know. I thought I told you to stay out of it. You know, we got plenty of room for people like you downtown. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. You about to Ma get fired. Do you happen to have any ID? Certainly. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Why his face look like that? Why he looking like that? 
Um, I'm just curious, how many citations have you written her? Including today? Four. Five hundred dollars each. Wow, that there's a pretty wow. hefty sum. Yep, yep, yep it is. But I told him I would pay the stupid fines. I know what I'm doing here is right. She is doing the right thing. She's a pillar to our community. Oh, would you shut up? Sir, can I detain her now? Uh, no, no, you no, fire we're him. not doing any of that. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. You are gonna revoke all of those citations, you understand? Excuse, Excuse me, Captain? Revoke the citations, and I want you to give her an apology. Apologize? You gotta be joking. Does Apologize? Kidding you? Do you know who this woman is? Some bleeding heart hippie who's causing problems? This is Meredith Mooney. She owns the largest nonprofit in the state. Plus, she's donated more of her own money uh -huh. last year to the city. That's why his face was like that. More money than you'll ever see in your lifetime. Well, good for her. Apologize. Sorry, lady. Mm, that didn't sound sincere to me. No, no, it did not. Try again. <sighs> I'm sorry. When I get back to the station, I'll take care of the tickets for you, okay? Well, thank you, officer. That was a little better. I accept your apology. Miss Mooney, let me ask you a question. Do you need any help with your food drive here? Captain, you know I always need a little extra help around here. Well, you yeah. see, the Mango Park Police Department, we're always willing to help. Every Sunday for the next month. He about to make Officer Jacobs help her. <laughs> month, you're going to report to Miss Moody here, and you're going to help her with whatever she needs. Am I making myself clear? Am I making myself clear? Crystal. Good. Now get back to the station and take care of those citations. <laughs> you look dumb, boy. Captain, I want to thank you for all that you've done today. I appreciate you. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. And Trey, thank you, man, stepping up in the line of fire just to defend me. Thank you. You're very welcome, Mrs. Meredith. I mean, you would have done the same for me. I mean, like I said, you're a pillar to our community, so it's only right. Now, hush, I'm going to get all embarrassed again. I... Yes, ma'am, you are definitely somebody special. I don't tell too many people about this, but when I was about 10 years old, my father left me and my mother and my sister. We had to live out of the car for a few years, and because of the kindness and generosity of people like you, we're able to make it through. Well, I, I've been blessed in my life, Captain. Trey, I, I, I just want to make sure I do the right thing to give back to my community, you know? And I just feel like if we are working to create light for others, well, we naturally light our own way. Am I right? Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Hey, let me help you clean some of this stuff up, huh? Yeah, all right. Appreciate the help. Let's do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.